concerned of the UFOs. You have seen with your own eyes a UFO. Yes. Which time? <laughs> Hey Earthlings, welcome back to Cloud Shadow TV. My name's Jesse, and this is my co-host Alan, and we're here for the Alien Abduction Support Group. You know we had to comment on this crazy stuff going down with UFOs in the sky. So we're gonna kind of break down the information we know so far and then go through some Reddit theories. And I would love to hear your theories in the comments. So you know, get down there, get to type in. <laughs> also, uh, welcome here if this is your first time. We are super happy to have you joining the Alien Abduction Support Group. These crazy UFOs in the sky have been all over the news. At first, the Pentagon was saying that they're not ruling out aliens, and this made people very interested, even more so than with the already possible malice reasons for why this original balloon was there. We're gonna get into that in a minute. So aliens have not been like hot like this in the news in a while, so I had to see what the people were saying. I wanna know your thoughts. Make sure you leave them down in the comment section. And uh, let's get to these theories. But first I'm gonna break down what we know. So far we know that three unidentified objects, UFOs, have been struck down flying over US and Canadian airspace. And one additional um, that was originally a UFO but was discovered to be a Chinese balloon that they claim to be a weather balloon but is also believed to be a spy balloon. In total, four UFOs have been struck down. This is partially explained by government officials who say that they have reworked equipment to slow down and catch things moving at a different space than they maybe would have before the um, first incident. And that's making them catch more things that are there that don't necessarily mean they're there with a negative intent. But it's a little strange that all these UFOs are being found all of a sudden. And we're hearing about it from our governments. And so then, like I said, the Pentagon originally was saying that they're not ruling out aliens. But then, of course, they switched up the story to no indication of aliens being involved. And in the press conference made references to movies, which for me is just like such a cop out. I actually believe it's a little bit more taboo these days to think aliens don't exist out in the universe somewhere than to think that aliens could possibly exist. So to be so dismissive, I thought it just made people like me more suspicious. So before we get into the people's theories, I'm going to just break it down into a quick timeline. On February 4th, 2023, a possible Chinese spy balloon was struck down over the Atlantic Ocean. On February 10th, 2023, a UFO was struck down over Alaska. The next day, on February 11th, 2023, a UFO was struck down over Canada. And on the day after that, February 12th, a UFO was struck down over Lake Huron, which is off of Michigan, and it was originally seen in Montana. No images of these three unidentified UFOs have been released to the public. So what do the people of Reddit think? What do you think? Let's get into it. True Bowie, or Bowie, I can't tell. True Boy, titled their post, ex-CIA John Ramirez, humans are hybrids and there are classified UFO programs bigger than AATIP. ATIP, that's the Pentagon program that we hear about that researches UFOs and aliens. It's where the um, leader of To The Stars Academy with Tom DeLong. Uh, worked before getting involved with To The Stars. Since 2021, John Ramirez, who spent 25 years in the CIA, has been providing truthful insights into the UAPs that he learned in his career. He is a highly intelligent individual who has an immense amount of knowledge and experience regarding the U.S. intelligence apparatus and the UAP subject. He has made an impressive social media presence after he revealed many UAP-related mysteries that had never been discussed in public by any government official. His appearance on the highly acclaimed Witness Citizen podcast on October 17, 2021, created a huge burst in the UFO community. Later, Ramirez made an appearance on Project Unity, where he delivered a series of slides to assist researchers in navigating the 
FOIA process. Ramirez was particularly helpful in identifying the appropriate agencies to contact when requesting particular types of information. In his interview with Project Unity, Ramirez opined, opened, opened, opinioned, that humans are hybrids. According to him, Elizondo is unable to use the word hybridization. Elizondo is the guy who worked who works at To The Stars now. But the Pentagon employees are counting on him to do so eventually. Elizondo discussed the possibility that non-human intelligence had been in contact with humans for a very long time. On the Theories of Everything podcast, this would imply that we have all forgotten about our own past, which would hide the possibility that we are hybrids of humans and extraterrestrials. This is a little bit more broad of a theory on aliens in general. Not exactly tied to the UFOs, but I thought it was relevant because it is about uh, there being more classified UFO programs than the ones that we know about and brings to light why, how there might be, how in this theory, there might be more going on than we know and we're only getting the information that we are allowed to know and I believe the background of this theory would be To the Stars is a government um, purposeful action to slowly release information about aliens and UFOs so that the public is not as panicked when they eventually release big news, which is a very interesting theory to me. And if it is true, I just really hope that Tom DeLong knows what's going on and he's not like being duped or anything because that would be like messed up, but the government is not about that. Next up, Miss Minecraft asks, why do we assume aliens want to invade us slash destroy us instead of coming to help? You know what? That is a positive mindset, Miss Minecraft, and I appreciate you for coming in here with some positivity. They say, why do we assume aliens want to invade us slash destroy us instead of coming to help? Since there are so many issues on a global scale and people in power do not help, what if aliens' intention to come is to help those in need? Filet Mignon replied, I think that's too much of a generalization. Absolute go back a few decades. Everything alien was malevolent, but these days I don't think people are still that cynical. Even movies these days, although there's still a hard lean towards invasion because it's entertaining. There are now films like Arrival, would recommend by the way. Personally, I'm convinced we would not be invaded in the extermination sense. At the very worst, we would be lovingly controlled and raised, much like how a parent tries to raise their child. Mm. I don't know if that was so positive. What do you guys think? Do you think the aliens could just be coming to help? Or do you think they want to, like, control us in the way a parent controls a child? What do you think, Alan? <laughs> no faith in aliens, this guy. Mortality Lost titled their post, My Theory on Why Biden is Quiet. So right now, we have a bunch of lawmakers and reporters asking why Biden hasn't given any speeches on the subject and why we aren't being told much at all. We keep being told he's being directly involved with matters of national security. That might be the literal truth. So think about it. They tweak their radar and suddenly chase down three other objects. Now they're dead quiet. I bet you they're finding a ton more in our airspace and aren't telling people jack uh, anything. Because it's scary to know we're on a constant UAP hunt. I saw a post from someone who's noticed a lot more military aircraft and another person who said they usually don't see air traffic but now they're seeing a ton of jets. I bet you they are hunting these things as we speak. We don't and don't want to alarm people. It's already hard enough to answer that the three objects are completely unknown. But what if there are dozens of more right now? People would think we're being invaded or already in World War III, and they don't even know if China is involved. What else would be going on? Biden would be speaking with world leaders, probably mainly NATO countries. It'd be far beyond a simple U.S. issue. It'd involve at least all of NATO, other nations right now. They would be freaking out because on top of the U.S. being busy, the second our generation gets attacked, it calls on the full force of NATO. This is the seriousness of the whole thing. If we're being invaded, that means 28 other nations need to gear up for literal World War III. The second we get attacked, it's on. Every other NATO nation has to be ready for war. 
I bet you they're so freaking busy gearing up for a potential war and handling UAPs that there's just nothing he can tell the American people yet. No idea which nation they belong to, no idea what they are. Imagine 28 nations not even knowing who is threatening the entire alliance. That mm -mm, would be bonkers. That stuff would be bonkers. And I bet that they're so busy that they're just going to feed us three objects, no debris, for a while until they can 100% decide that it's not an adversational nation starting World War III. Because if it's not aliens, that's the implication. Invading U.S. airspace implies 28 other nations gearing for war. What they discover from all this will decide history. I can almost guarantee that the reason Biden hasn't said anything is because they're still figuring out whether this is World War III or even crazier aliens. But the security of the U.S. and other nations depends on them figuring that out. I think that's a I think that's a very uh, well thought out theory. What are your thoughts in the comments? Ario titled their post "Plant Based Aliens." They said, "What if aliens are plant based? We know that some trees live thousands of years. They mostly need light to do photosynthesis, and they likely wouldn't have developed any ways to kill other organisms. So we shot down their ships." Just a thought. <laughs> I kind of love this theory. Um, like tree aliens, like imagine their little roots as feet and they're walking around um, flying the ship. And like it would be sad because we wouldn't think that their ships are manned, but they are manned by plant beings. Um, never heard that theory. What do you think? It would like prolong their life if they lived like that and like who knows I feel like trees can think more than we realize some trees can even like if they're struck by lightning or something and they're gonna fall out their roots can catch them and pull them back into the ground so I mean like hmm, you never know next up we have suitable leg three five two six fun name suitable leg says could it be possible that mysterious UFO sightings that have been happening recently are just us time traveling back to save our own future? Just a thought. <laughs> this is a popular theory that um, UFOs are time travelers. They're not actually extraterrestrial. They're like future humans coming back to either watch us, make sure events happen, or stop us from doing something. I have seen the TV show Fringe and the observers and what they did with that and I'm not uh, hopeful that that I I really hope that's not what's going on but I mean I guess if it's in a more positive way or something but overall I just feel like time travel is really messy and like going back in time probably would change a lot in the future and I don't know unless they've learned how to work around those rules it's pretty far out theory I don't know what do you think is less likely time travel or aliens Amnesia Species theorizes, what if the UAPs are a distraction? They say, what if they are something Russian made to distract NATO so they can gain advantage over Ukraine? Obviously, these things aren't doing anything really crazy, but to me, it seems odd that we are now reporting that some have been shot down. If it were a real UAP, I feel like it would have easily just avoided it. To me, this seems like a desperation move to take control of Ukraine, but this move is working with how much focus we're putting on it. From what I know about UFO alien history, um, this does seem on brand for a Russian strategy, but I am no political scientist, so. Alien noob theorizes, here's my take on what is actually happening. They said, I think that they did shoot alien unmanned crafts down, but if they showed images, the world would be shocked to see a metallic cylinder shaped craft without wings, just floating there. And they already said it is not a balloon. It will make everybody panic. It's better for them not to find it at all, or not telling us that they took it for reverse engineering companies, as they were doing for many years since Roswell. Can you imagine how it looks from the inside? This will make the public in triple shock. I think it's not the first time they shot down a craft. They did it many years ago and didn't mention it to anyone. So why telling us? Why now? Here are their uh, five reasons. <laughs> Number one, 
Someone mentioned in a post a good point. There's a war going on in the world, so the U.S. has decided to shoot down anything weird in the U.S. airspace to avoid risks. Uh, number two. The Senate is pressing on the Pentagon to avoid all information on UFOs, which includes 75 years of lies. So now after the stunt, they're discovering things on their terms. Everybody forgets about the reports and 75 years of long history and focus on whatever happens now. The Pentagon will get their funding to research this now. We the people and the Senate are fascinated that it might be aliens. Everyone is happy or distracted. That was parentheses, actually, not quotes. <laughs> Number three, nuke threat is rising. So it is good for the world to focus on the truth. We are not alone. The disclosure is a process that should happen as soon as possible, but not too fast because the chaos will be crazy. Because the nuke threat is real and the most dangerous threat to our survival as a species right now, I think that the more we grow with technology, the more we are dangerous to ourselves. We are clearly not mature for this. There is a lot of evidence that aliens are monitoring our nukes and help us avoid catastrophe. The U.S. is aware of this and probably just postponed the disclosure event. Number four, it seems like a soft disclosure is happening right now. It means that every year they will tell us something. After three to five years, we can normalize this and laugh it off. And finally, their fifth reason, last thing, but I think it might be true. There was a video of an interview of some high official that seemed credible that mentioned that there will be a contact in 2027. He said that Elizondo himself told him, find a hobby for the next few years. It will come out anyway. Solid thoughts, alien noob. Moving on to the theory from According Policy 3425. Their post is titled, What I have learned the last few days about the shot down UAPs. Because all we have is speculation, I'm going to give the possible theories. And what's not said is as important as what is said. The facts are, Canadian defenses said they shot down a cylinder-shaped object a day later that got changed to a spy balloon. Theory 1. They shot down three UAPs. They sent in helicopters low ground right after fighter jets were dispatched. As the confirmed takedown was confirmed, helicopters would arrive only minutes later after the fighter jets returned to base. The helicopters would swoop in, collect the debris, and get out. Maybe their transponder doesn't even show up on non-Air Force radar. Theory 2. The Air Force doesn't know what a Chinese black solar balloon is, and they shot a $20 toy from China someone had released days earlier. But that would make the incompetence level so ridiculously high, it's hard to imagine they did shoot down a bin bag. And if that was true, they are hiding a mistake that cost them 300k a pop on a missile. Theory 3. The wreckage simply vanished. But wouldn't they say that? They tell us it's not alien, but in order to ascertain that it's not an alien craft, they must first have to look at it. Someone is lying their butts off, because logistically, this cannot be happening. Bottom line, only Canada was being transparent saying a cylinder-shaped craft with no identifiable propulsion. This is a classic cigar-shaped craft known by the UFO community. I know you guys know those. Okay, so let's look at what's not being said. First of all, no farther description, not even how fast. And second, no images or videos. Now, if these UAPs were spy balloons like China's balloon, why is it Congress was quick to show us photos of them pulling the balloon out onto the boat from multiple angles. Now it's been days and they can't find it. My feeling is it's now classified and our only hope, Canada will tell us what they learn. This is now a cover up, not seen since the Phoenix lights. All the wreckage will have vanished and plausible deniability kicks in. I'm so over it. A user named Soul Token replied and said, needs to appear as cover-up so the aliens don't retaliate and needs to raise questions so the public demands answers at the same time. You gotta let me know your thoughts on that one in the comments, guys. I, I, I need to know what you think. Don't we need to know, Ellen? We need to know. All right, uh, let's get to the next one. Help me, 4-4. Four, four. I hope you're okay. Um, says, could this unknown object trend be a reaction test for future disclosure? 
This popped into my mind recently, as I've been following this topic closely for more than a decade. I'm definitely not convinced we can shoot down species that can travel through cosmos or dimensions with our sticks and stones compared to their technology. I do believe they are here, though. My primary belief is that this is something Chinese, as what are the odds U.S. had their balloon in the sky a good week ago, and now suddenly there are direct references to aliens as soon as they announce unknown objects? Quite far-fetched, if you ask me. Besides, UAPs have been on our skies all the time, so why suddenly make a frenzy and shoot them down? Navy personnel from the U.S. West Coast, where constant military drills are executed, were and still are reporting these all the time. It does not make sense these are the same UAPs they're suddenly shooting down. It has to be human-made, quite possibly Chinese, but sliding in an unknown object announcement for a short period of time is a definitely a win situation for the government and their agencies to test mass response to this, a soft introduction to future disclosure. A lot has moved forward in the UFO community in the past years, and maybe U.S. government is considering something while they have a beef with China. That's just my theory. Interesting theory helped me for for, and also I really do hope that you are okay and getting the help that you need. Those are the theories that I have for you all, and I am just so thankful for you listening to them come out of my mouth. Um, if you made it this far, you got to let me know what you think. What do you think these UFOs are? Tell me down in the comments. Like, subscribe, say hi to Alan. This has been the Alien Abduction Support Group. I'm Jesse. I really want to hear your thoughts. If there's good enough thoughts, maybe I'll make a video on your thoughts. Um, so, you know, have some good thoughts and share them with me. <laughs> Peace out, earthlings, and don't forget to look up.